What's going on guys? Welcome back to the train. So today I'm going to be showing you guys a real quick tip, a little jig here for sharpening your saw blades and a technique to do it way quicker, faster, and better. It's going to be quick and easy, but you're going to love it. So stay tuned and let's get started. So if you've worked with a table saw much and done a lot of cutting, especially of hardwoods and exotic woods, you know that you can quickly build up this sort of pitch and sap and resin on the teeth of your blades, even these carbide coated blades. And as soon as it starts to build this, it cakes up and it really bogs down the saw and makes the cutting a lot worse. So of course we need to keep these clean. And if you've ever tried to clean them and looked at instructions when you buy some sort of pitch and resin remover, you've also probably seen that you're supposed to sit here spray some on and then start scrubbing with a toothbrush. And if you've done this, you know that you have to clean four different faces of the tooth, the front, the back, the top, and the actual front face. And you have to do that on a blade like this 72 times. So it can be a lot of work and really slow going and really annoying and keep you from cleaning your blades as often as you should. So instead of messing around with an old toothbrush, what we're gonna do is to use a cheap Dremel that most of you probably have laying around. If not, I think this one's only about 50 bucks at most hardware stores. And then we're gonna use these small brushes that go onto the Dremel to clean the blade along with the pitch and resin remover. And the nice thing is that these bits cost about $15 for a massive pack of 50 plus of each kind. So uh, I'm gonna go ahead and set it up and show the jig here and show how quick this goes. Okay, so to make the jig, we're just gonna need a few simple parts. The first thing is just a piece of scrap wood that's relatively thick. I had this on hand, but something like a two by four would work great. We're gonna need a five eighths inch bolt. Here, this one is about two and a half inches long and the length will depend on the thickness of your wood. And then last thing, we're gonna need a five eighths inch nut and a few 5 8 inch washers. Simple as that. So we're gonna go ahead and drill a through hole about six to eight inches from the top of the board and you can use a Forstner bit or spade bit or anything. Just go ahead and drill a through hole. Okay, so now that we've got our 5 8 inch hole drilled, I've got a 5 8 inch bolt here. I'm gonna go ahead and just put this through. With that on, we're just gonna take a 5 8 washer, throw that on, put on the blade that we wanna clean. And then just because the threads have a little gap before there, I'm gonna place two more and then slide on the nut. And we can tighten that down and now you can see the blade kind of moves with a nice friction turn here. And now we'll be able to orient this blade upright or horizontal on the surface when we're cleaning the sides uh, with our Dremel to go ahead and clean. So let's pull out these brushes and start cleaning. So the nice thing about using these brushes here is that I usually start with this softer bristle brush here and then whatever I can't remove easily with this, I then come in with the brass bristle brush. But because these are carbide teeth, it does not actually dull them or do anything. So you don't have to worry about that. And even though these wear pretty quickly, they're so cheap to get a bulk pack of them that it's really not an issue at all. So we'll still go ahead and use the solution here. But now with this close up, I'm gonna show you, we can sit here and scrub with the toothbrush. But you can see here, especially these more grimy parts where it's a little more stuck, the toothbrush just isn't quite aggressive enough to get it. And it takes quite a bit of scrubbing and manpower to uh, do it. And when you do all these teeth, it gets tiring. But if we just come through with the Dremel, So you can see here, I just power on the brush on the Dremel at a high speed and I come through and with literally touching the tooth for maybe a second, you get all the plaque off. It's so much quicker and less aggressive on your wrist and hands and it just is a really simple way to do it. So I just go back and forth between spraying some of the solution on and then cleaning down the teeth. You've probably noticed we've essentially replicated the table saw's arbor here. That gives us a few advantages because now the teeth are upright and off the table, so it's a lot easier to get at all the different faces, and it's easy to spin it as we get to the different teeth. The beauty here is that you can just slowly rotate through the teeth here as you go and everything stays nice and in place for you, while your other hands are hands-free, holding both the brush and the anti-pitch remover. And uh, it's just such a slick system. Trust me, when you start cleaning blades like this, you will never go back. 
Now to clean the tops and the fronts of the teeth, I just go ahead and put the blade on the other way on the board so that I can pop it upright in the vise and get at them easier. Now it's still important that you use the pitch and sap remover solution, whatever brand you do use, because it really does help weaken that on the teeth, but the Dremel just makes it so much quicker. You just have to spend maybe a second, maybe a second and a half per tooth to get all the grime off the faces. And it took me literally a quarter of the time or less to get through this entire blade than it does doing it manually and scrubbing each face. Now I still do come through after. I like to just dry off the blade here, just go against the teeth. The reason is if there's any sap left on there that's removed, but it's still kind of clinging just because of the liquid, you just want to get that off before it just re-dries on there. Otherwise you kind of defeat what you just did. So just take a paper towel, dry it off, wipe off any last little bit of sap you see. But overall, it's so much quicker and a lot easier on your arms and wrists than sitting here with a toothbrush. Um, and yeah, I think it's kind of a game changer for cleaning saw blades. So, Five eighths inch bolts, some washers and a nut, and a piece of wood. I'll have these links to these brushes, these uh, burrs here online if you want to pick some up. They're really cheap. Go in any Dremel and give this a shot. Let me know what you think. Okay, so I hope this helps you guys. I think it's a pretty neat way to do it. It's going to save you a lot of time, so I hope you guys try it out and let me know what you think. I'm going to leave a link below to these brushes. I didn't even have to end up using the brass coated ones there because I got everything with the nylon or whatever those are. Um, so maybe just pick those up to start. It's 15 bucks and you won't regret it. So as always guys, thanks for watching. Be sure to subscribe to my channel to stay tuned for more content. Leave a comment below what you think and we'll see you on the next one.